Well hello and welcome to another National Bee Supplies video. Today we're going to have a look at our best-selling four-frame tangential extractor. Um, this comes with a built-in filter and a settling tank, a bottling tank if you like at the bottom. So if you haven't got a lot of room or you haven't got a lot of honey to process, this is an excellent piece of kit because you can do the extracting, the filtering and the bottling all in one go. Right, so straight out of the box, the first thing I'd recommend is you give it a quick wash, make sure there's no bits or anything in it. And then we have to attach the handle and the tap before we can get started. So with the end of this handle here, you'll see that there's a, a recess that takes a hexagonal nut. And you put the bolt through the handle, use the supplied Allen key and do it up. The nut is a, a nylock nut, so it won't undo. You don't have to do it up tight. We want the handle to spin. That way, as you rotate it, it'll rotate in your hand rather than the other way around. I'm just gonna lift it up and put the tap on. So make sure you've put the black O-ring over the tap and seat it down. Now this is nylon going into metal, so we've got to be a bit careful, we don't cross thread it. So what I'm going to do is wind it backwards slightly until I feel it goes snick. Hopefully that'll be the beginning of the thread. And then we can do it up. And it's going in fairly smoothly. If you find that it goes tight, you need to back off and try again. Right, well the extractor comes with two plastic lids which are nice and easy to fit so all you do is off the lid up like that press down here so that they click in underneath the central bar right, well that's the extractor all set up now ready to go and now we're going to show you how to extract some honey in it Okay, so now we're ready to do some extracting. I've already uncapped three frames and put them in the extractor. So now we're going to add the, the last one. It's always best if you can in this four frame tangential to have either four frames or two frames or two brood frames, of course. You just want to try and balance it. So we'll put the last one in. I'm putting the top bars to the outside of the cage. Pop the lid on. Now this handle has a spring mechanism in it where it'll want to pop out on you. That's so that when the extractor's spinning, the handle's not spinning around and wrapping your knuckles. So we have to engage it and then use a slight pressure so that we can spin it. Now we're not looking to break any speed records. Nice and smooth and easy does it. Remember the other side of the frame is still full of honey. There you see it'll spin by itself now for a bit and it's not whizzing the handle around. So we're going to keep going at this for a couple of minutes or so and then we'll turn all the frames down and do the other side. Okay so that's one side of the frames done. Hopefully we should be able to see this pretty much empty. And now we have to invert these two frames so that we can do the other side but still keep the top bars to the outside. And we'll do the other two and then spin again. just give a bit more of a spin. Hopefully the microphone will be able to pick up the sound of the honey hitting the drum. That's the noise that all beekeepers love there. Right, 
Right, well, hopefully that's the frames all completely empty. Let's have a check. Yeah, there's a few drags of honey in there, but that'll be fine. So now I'm just going to let it go down the sides of the, the uh, extractor, through the filter, into the collection tank underneath. Uh, now you've got a choice, really. If you want to, you can just take it out into buckets. This tank is 50 kilo in the bottom, so you can probably do three, maybe three and a half supers into there if you want to. Now you may wish to jar it straight from there. If it's gonna be for your own consumption, that's absolutely fine. You can just jar it straight from that tap. I would recommend you just do two supers for that because remember you're gonna to have to lift it up to your jarring table as it were. Um, you could, if you wanted to, take some buckets out and then pour them back into the tank once it's up here and get around it that way so that you have a full 50 kilos to put into jars. Before you jar it, you must leave it at least overnight, probably 48 hours, because you want all the air that you've created from spinning this to come back out of the honey. You don't want the air in the honey in the jars. So we're gonna set about putting this up on the table now, and then we'll jar some of the honey, and you can see it. Well, in time-honored fashion, here's some we prepared earlier. So this tub of honey has been sat now overnight, and uh, we can start jarring it out. Right, well, I hope that was useful for you in terms of using this extractor. Um, this is what it's all about, really, isn't it? I'm going to get on now and jar the rest of this up. So thanks for watching.